So, yeah. Ojiki Sue, you ask and you shall receive. So let's do uh, carnitas. You know, we're gonna do some slow and low cooking with a big old pork shoulder. So here's the pig. This is the shoulder that I want. I want this hunk of meat. And I, only, I want the, the, the rind off, I want the, the fat layer off. There's so much fat in this pork shoulder, it's gonna self-base from within. So I know everybody says fat is flavor, uh-uh. My rub is flavor. So here's our rub. Can we come over here and look at all this goodness that's going into our rub? We got so many herbs and spices. So we've got brown sugar, we've got garlic powder, we've got onion powder, we've got chili powder. We've got black pepper salt, uh, ground cumin, ground coriander, and more chili flakes. That's all going into the rub, and here's our rub all kind of pre-mixed. So we're gonna give a beautiful dosage of rub onto our pork shoulder. So here we go. We want a nice, beautiful, we want to create a bark on this big hunk of meat. Can you explain to the guys uh, on FoodTube um, what a bark is? Because a lot of, certainly a lot of British people don't know what a bark is. Okay, so I want to create a big flavor. I want to create, I want this to cook on the outside, slow, self-based, and I want like a kind of a mahogany look. So the wood, the wood sweet smoke is going to give it a mahogany look and it's nice. gonna create a bark. So you get those kind of crunchy bits on the outside. We're not doing pork scratches, we're just doing a little crunchy crispy bits on the bits. outside. Yeah, the crispy bits. You guys love the crispy bits. We Can love I ask it. you a favor? Yeah, man. You gotta pull that up, open her up. I'm gonna throw Come on, man, look in there. In there. What's that? Oh, wow. Okay, wow. so of course we've got some, well, we got a lot of people here that wanna eat. So we're gonna cook this for 10 hours. We got a couple that have been going for nine and a half hours. We're gonna do some marinades later. I need you to help me later on. Now, listen, can you close that? I gotta yeah, wash man. my hands. I gotta make a salsa. Go dude. for it, go for it's it. It's always important it. to wash your hands when you're playing with me. So what are you doing next then, DJ Barbs? I am making... <laughs> 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 Thanks for helping me, Dame. I'm glad you can talk again. No, I, mate, I, it's, I'm recovered. It's yogurt, save the day. <laughs> I am gonna do a beautiful, spicy pineapple salsa to go with our carnitas. I'm gonna actually build you a carnita right now. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna build it right now. So, right. cause we got some Italians in the house tonight. We got the Chiapas, man, I, I, how beautiful I, I, are they? I, we love the Chiapas and we love Gennaro and I can bet you they've never had a carnita before. Okay, so here we go. So there's our pork and there's our tortillas. So we're gonna put a little bit of shredded pork in the So middle. this is the 10 hour smoked pork. This has been shredded. It's got those little crispy bits. That's the bark we're talking about. That little bit right there. Beautiful. That's the bark. There's a big hunk of bark right there. I See? need a bit of this. There oh. you go. Get the bark. Come on, McKenna, mm. get in. So we're going to put a little Boom. bit there. There's our shredded pork. Now, I'm just finishing off the pineapple sauce. So it's uh, I've roasted the pineapple on the barbecue. I've got some like, finely chopped red onions, uh, a red pepper. I'm adding in some coriander in there. And then I'm going to just throw a lime. So when did you first make your first salsa? I made my first salsa when I was like 16 years old, so you okay. know, you're never too late to make salsa. So what's salsas. your philosophy on balance? You know, getting that sweet and sour. Are you trying to like get them all fighting at the same level? Yeah, I, well, I kind of want a lovely bit of sweet with a tiny bit of that tang from the red onion, but it's a sweet onion, right? Okay. And then I add the coriander for that just beautiful. When you chop fresh coriander, there is a not, there's not a better flavor when you hit that coriander. So we just chopped that up. Look, we've completely anglified him. Uh, coriander, you call it cilantro back home. I do call it cilantro. Yeah. Can I call it cilantro right now? Yeah. Okay, so I've got my cilantro in my pineapple salsa, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there, and a tiny bit of that in there, and then I've got my beautiful chunky guac. So we're gonna go tomatoes and onions with our avocado, and then there's the extra bit of lime. So like classic guacamole. Classic guacamole. We dude. love a bit of guac. And there is a couple of chilies in there as well. So, we so more chili, because we need more chili. <laughs> well, you do. So I'm going to do a little dollop of that in there. So there's some guacamole. Some and the idea of carnitas is they're like small little soft tacos, yeah? A carnita is small, is small meats. Yeah. That's what it translates as. And then I've got some beautiful kind of rainbow slaw, some broccoli stems, because you can use the whole bit of the broccoli. I uh, got some cabbage oh, really? and with, an, yeah, with a cider vinegar on that. So there are your beautiful carnitas, one for... And you just wrap that up and it stick up. it in your gob? That's it, stick it in your gob. Come on, one for you two. We'll share. There you go. We'll nice. Share. More chili, because I didn't need any. <laughs> and that's a uh, mm. carnita. Mm. The pork is phenomenal. Word. <laughs> loving, loving the mango. So, oh. um, no, melody, pineapple. melody, pineapple. 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 P